My name is Ray J, singer, songwriter, actor, and platinum selling artist. I've had a lot of success and made a lot of money. I love the ladies, and the ladies love me. Hey, what's going on? It's your girl, Charity Love. I'm here on the set of my show, Gossip Girl. I have the lovely Danielle Pastorino with me. (laughs) And um, she was on For the Love of Ray J. And last night I seen the episode. Let us know about the episode. That was a really, oh, really good episode know. last night. Well, last night like episode was intense. It was like the that. most Regardless, intense episode like thus like far. Like um, like it had its good points, and it had its totally like negative that, it points. Just, um, uh, the negative points seemed to betray me as being yeah. evil yeah. and yeah. being yeah. out to manipulate people. I don't see you with nobody in the house. I don't see you ever even wanting to choose anybody. But you? Um, okay, first off, I want to throw out there that this is a show. Right. We have to understand, like, we, we build friendships in there, but I never went in there to manipulate people. I never even went in the house with a, with a scheme on how I was going to get girls out. I had girls that I was close with, which we all knew were Kashmir and Stax and Feisty. Those were, right. like, my girls in the house. Right. So to see VH1 and see things being flipped on me as if I was happy to see Kashmir leave, you know, mm-hmm. I wasn't. You know, I actually... There, there was a scene that was edited out that actually was crying, you know, like a little uh, tear and everything. Right. So, of course, as soon as she walked out the door, they took, a t- they took a scene from me, you know, giggling at something feisty said and put it like I was happy she was uh, leaving. Right. So, you know, that, that was something that kind of bothered me because I know I'm not that type of person. Right. You know, and I know everybody that knows me knows I'm out. You know, I mean, this is a show. Mm-hmm. It, it's competitive. And I want to compete, but I'm not out to, you know... So basically, they portrayed you to be something else, something you're not. Something I'm um, totally not. I'm not right. not evil. Um, I know on the show you appeared to be the most to me. You appeared no, to be no, the no. most classiest, well put together one. Mm-hmm. Do you think that the other girls may have had a better advantage because they were throwing themselves out there? I know one girl she went down and did the splits. The yeah. other girls were steady <laughs> taking off their tops and stuff. Um, you know what? I don't think they had a better advantage. Uh-huh. I think for that moment they had a better advantage. Yeah. But I don't think in the long run, you know, I mean it's down to five girls right now. You know, so I mean in the long run that, that stuff it it only lasts so long. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I, I never wanted to go into anything like unique is perfect or anything like that because I'm not. I have my flaws. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I, and I, and I want to let everybody know that, that there are things to me that I could work on. But when it comes down to trying to manipulate people and, and all that, that's not me. Mm-hmm. And that's not one of my flaws because mm-hmm. that's not who I am. Right. So I really, you know, I went in there and I am classy and I am, you know, I'm a, I'm a woman. And I think right. that's the difference. And that's what I'm hearing from a lot of people is that that is the difference between me and all the girls, you know. I carry myself like a woman. I dress like a woman. I talk and walk like a woman. Mm-hmm. So I'm not into the typical, you know, mini skirt and a stiletto <laughs> right. all the time, you know. So, yeah. So that's, that's what's drop it like it, Drop right. it like it's hot drop on the it side like of the pool. <laughs> right. Okay, so um, how did you feel about the pool scene when you seen, <laughs> <laughs> when you seen your girl feisty? How'd you feel about that? Um, okay, the, the pool scene was very funny. Um, <laughs> I have to say, girl, you know that was funny. They had, and Feisty, I was, I was happy to be on that date with her because she was, she's a very um, neutral person. She, she never wanted to cause drama. She was always my friend. She was so sweet. Okay. But why did they have me creeping around the pool like a shark? <laughs> You got the wild elements that I like. She has the, the wholesome elements. She's like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you pull me? Like, really? Why they had me creeping around like Big Mama about to They had her. They like, had her. Five, six, seven behind. Ain't that big, but they appear to be big on TV. But, you know, hey, I mean, I'm cool with that. But, you know what? I will say one thing. She let me get my time, and I let her have hers. You know what I mean? If that's what it comes down to. And he decided to kiss me, and not her. 
And I decided to kiss him. It wasn't just he wants to kiss me. I wanted to kiss when him. When I heard the music coming, I thought I, got, I, I thought that like you were gonna take her under or something. I was like, I, I was not about to take her under. That that was definitely so definitely you, cool. You you got to have your your moments. Okay, so um, <laughs> what about kissing oh, Ray J? Kissing Ray. How J. would you rate Ray J's kiss from one to ten? You got to tell me this I one know. straight up for the girl gossip, from girl. girl. To girl. <laughs> yeah. From girl to girl. Right. Um, I would probably say he's not... Uh, tongue tied right now. <laughs> I would say he's very sexy, soft lips. Um, I, w I would give him a, a nine. Oh, nine? Nobody's perfect. Right. So, okay, that's a fair, that's but a fair it was answer. De definitely there, and he, he can definitely kiss him. Right. <laughs> She doesn't want to tell us all right now, but we'll get it. We'll get it soon, the next interview. Your one-on-one -on -one time, you know, everybody had to do their special thing with him, and you chose singing. Yeah. And um, that was a nice little setup that you had, and, you know, you two decided to sing together. Yeah. Any Ray and Unique duets? <laughs> yeah, I will say, I, I chose to, um, I, I'm not a, I never went in there saying, hey, I'm an artist or anything. Uh -huh. I went in there saying, hey, I, I sing, I grew up in a church, so that's how okay. I, I love to write. I love mm -hmm. to write. So I thought that would be the best thing. While the other girls were playing a little basketball, <laughs> doing things he loved to do, I wanted to do something I love to do and that he loves to right. do. And Basically. that was right. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and what, and, and I've had some false starts in the past. I really have, you know, with the, uh, uh, and then we forget <laughs> my lyrics. I'm right, good at right, that, right. you know. But this time I was able to be myself and just sing freestyle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, no memorizing involved. It's just right off the top. So that's, I love that. That was my favorite challenge so right. far. Just me and him singing together. The end of the show. Mm -hmm. They had the laughter thing going on. <laughs> yes, um, they made me, okay. So I, first they tried to make you a shark and then they tried to portray you as a monster. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say that, that they definitely gave me the sinister laugh. You know, at the end, I, I have to say, I, I bow down to VH1 because I think, I mean, it was funny, you know? Mm -hmm. I, hey, you know, I have my evil points to me and uh -huh. I'm very much, a, I'm a fun person. So I love laughing, I love giggling. So. <laughs> Hey, you know, catch me, you know. I, I love just having fun. So they, they're making me out to be the villain right now, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. That is fine with me because, you know, at the end of the day, I know who I am. Right. You know, and, you know, I'm not, I was, a, a, any of the girls that got kicked out, I never once got them out myself. That, that was Cocktail and a lot of other people mm -hmm. sneaking around the house, tattletelling. I didn't right. have to do none of that. Right. So if you want to get close to the unique and then somehow you're gone, that's not my problem. Right. I have friends in the house and I have enemies in the house, period. Right. So, I mean, hey. Because it did kind of seem like a get close to unique. Whoever gets close to unique, out. they're the next person out the door. Right. When, do I have magical powers? Am I, <laughs> am I bowling? You know, I'm not. <laughs> Hello, not that I know of. Right. So, I mean, hey, if, if there was no chemistry there, I mean, or if someone decided to leave, you know, mm -hmm. that that's by choice. That's not anything I've ever done. I haven't done anything to anyone to make them leave. So. Right. You know, hey, but I, I enjoyed last night's episode. What's up next for Unique? Um, what's up with me? Um, I'm definitely um, acting. Um, mm -hmm. I'm st steady going to keep or on. Or should I say Danielle Pastorino? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you know. Um, I'm definitely merging into acting. Mm -hmm. I want to be on a few sitcoms. I'm okay. kind of headed that way. Um, as far as um, everyone can go to my website at www.officiallyunique.com. Mm -hmm. And check me out. Um, all my information's on there. You can see what I'm up to, my schedule. Um, I, I'm kind of hitting around the globe right now, and I just want to be able to. And I also want to point this out. I want to be able to talk to the youth. Okay. You know, not that I'm, I'm not perfect, but I do want to let young girls who are out there that are fans of the show, right. I want to let them know that you don't have to go. You can be a reality star, and you don't have to be trashy to be it. Right. So I really want to let that know, because the fans come from all different ages and races. Mm -hmm. and I want to let people know you can be whoever you want to be, and that sounds kind of, kind of corny or whatever, but no, you can no, do what you want to do, mm -hmm. and you don't have to be a whore about it. Right. So. I could see you Same. doing the speaking, the motivational yeah. thing. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. All right, um, do you, I have one more question. Um, mentors, do you have any? Um, I definitely look up to like Spike Lee. Okay. I look up to Tyler Perry. I look mm -hmm. up to people that have come from nothing, and then there's something. Okay. You know, you don't always have to go to reality star route, you can go, a lot of different routes, but I've struggled and I and I've started from the bottom. But you know, I want to reach the top, so that's that's me. You know. Okay. 
Well, I have the lovely unique here, <laughs> Danielle Pastorino. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Mm. She's so beautiful. I had to do my laugh again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's so beautiful and so humble and so classy. And um, thank you. I so hope much. we'll be seeing more of you. Definitely. I definitely see the acting. Definitely. I see the. Cleveland Holly Berry in you. Hey, <laughs> I'm trying. So Tyler Perry, you guys cast her. She's Definitely. great. Thank you. Um, and thanks for coming on my show. Definitely. Thank and you so much, And I hope so to have Sharon. you again soon. Definitely. All right. Peace. Bye. <laughs>